Hey, what is going on guys? In this video today, we're going to be breaking down how to be successful while playing aggressive in Fortnite. This is a topic that I feel really fit to discuss because I myself play super aggressive and I always recommend that if you're trying to improve as a player, playing aggressive is definitely the way to go. And the reason for that is super simple at the end of the day. If you play aggressive and engage in an average of, say, 5 or 6 fights per game, you're going to improve so much faster than a guy who plays a little more passive and engages in only, say, 3 or 4 fights per game. You know, it's as simple as asking, who would you expect to be a better 3-point shooter after a year? The guy who practices by shooting 100 threes each day, or the guy who practices by shooting 50 threes each day? And when you play aggressive, you're going to gain every single possible type of fight. You'll get in fights where you have an advantage, fights where you have low mats, fights where you're starting from high ground, fights where you're getting pushed in by the storm, and so many more. It really teaches you how to handle every possible situation that you'll run into in a Fortnite game. And don't get me wrong, there are tons of times where playing aggressive isn't the best option, but just learning that aggressive playstyle will make you so much better at every other possible playstyle. So, let's get right into this. Alright, so I just want to quickly talk about a few general things about playing aggressive in Fortnite and why it's so important before we start breaking down the gameplay. So in Fortnite, pretty much every single fight is going to have an aggressor and a player forced into playing defensive. Now, these two roles may be determined at the beginning of the fight or in the case of a 1v1 build battle, could be determined later in the fight. Most of the time in that case, both players start off on the offensive by ramping towards each other, but then then once a player establishes clear high ground, the other player is forced into more of a defensive style. One of the best things about Fortnite compared to a lot of other shooter video games is that the vast majority of the time, the aggressive player is going to have an advantage in individual fights. That's because of aspects like building, shield, and the value of high ground, which makes it so that even if you get surprised by a defensive or even just straight up camping player, you can still recover and end up winning the fight. Fight. You compare that to a game like Call of Duty or PUBG where you die in 3 to 4 shots every time and there really aren't any protective measures as strong as building or shield, that type of game really ends up rewarding defensive play. That was always one of the most frustrating aspects of public match Call of Duty to me. You would have players just sitting in dark corners of buildings until they get 6 or 7 kills in a row and then they would just feed off of kill streaks for the rest of the game. In Fortnite if you hide in a corner or just sit on a ramp head glitch for five minutes straight, yeah you may surprise someone with a shot or two, but if they're the better player they're gonna reaction build, beat you to high ground, heal up, and then probably end up killing you. So knowing all of that, your goal as an aggressive player should be to have every fight fought on your terms. If you rush someone and beat them to high ground or make them start running away from you, that fight is now being totally dictated by you. You get to choose when and where you want to attack from, you can choose at any point to disengage, you can start trying to get chip damage. The player who is forced into a defensive position though, really only has two options, hide or run away. And even even in the best case scenario for that player where one of those two options end up working, neither of them actually end up resulting in a kill. So now, let's move into actually breaking down this gameplay so you kind of get a visual understanding of what I'm saying here. So what you guys are watching in terms of gameplay here is a 22 kill, pretty much solo squad gameplay. Me and my friend queued up in squads as a duo, and I believe he died really, really early in Tilted Towers. So I'll pretty much just chalk it up as a 22 kill solo squad gameplay. And honestly, the beginning of this gameplay, as I'm sure you guys have been watching, was really 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 slow. I only have 6 kills right now with 30 enemies left and it gets considerably worse. There's a point in this gameplay I believe there's 15 enemies left and I have 9 kills. That's usually the recipe for like a 10 or 12 kill game maybe and to end that with 22 it really shows you how crazy this gameplay gets towards the end. But right here I'm facing a little 1v2 situation against these guys in the lake and I make a smart play here to try to push on the first guy and play aggressive but his teammate kind of saves him for a little until I hit him with a nasty trap play. Traps are super OP at 
150 damage, so I'ma take advantage of it until they hopefully tone them down a bit, maybe to like 125 or 100, kill the teammate there, and that was a super easy team wipe. As you can see here, 16 people left, and I have 9 kills. Like, it's insane. I'm gonna end up killing 13 of the remaining 15 enemies, and in a few seconds here, you're gonna see I miss out on another what should have been free kill. That guy right there, I played super aggressive off the rip, got some nice chip damage, so he was forced to retreat and kind of turtle up here like we talked about earlier, and it's easy to kill him because when you're turtling up and playing defensive, most of the time you're going to have your building menu out, and obviously you can't do any damage or kill any enemies with a building menu. Now, as you see right here, I tried to trap this guy, but it ended up being his teammate's wall, so I couldn't place the trap. Luckily, I make a nice play here to build over him, replace it with some of my walls and ramps, do a clean little edit play and I go to place the trap it doesn't kill him but it does hit him and he dies to the storm right before I killed him with either my shotgun or another activation of that trap so horrible little turn of events there could have been at 11 kills instead of 10 and you're gonna see 12 out of the final 13 people as we approach the end of this gameplay I'm going to end up killing and it's all gonna start right here I do a little chip damage on this guy flying away from the leaky lake cube rest in peace to that and I decide that it's probably a smart play in a few seconds here to try to follow him because maybe he's going towards teammates maybe heard people shooting from a little while away all I know is I want to get in on whatever action that's left because there really isn't many with only 12 enemies left at this point and look what I stumble upon here this is one of the craziest engagements I've ever had in Fortnite you're gonna see I knock out the first person do a good job of playing really aggressive and knock out a second person and there are even more they just keep coming here there's something like six or seven people in this small little fight all I'm doing is doing a good job of getting lost in the chaos trying to interrupt these fights maybe third party them or just in general try to weaken whoever I can and we are just mowing enemies down left and right like this is insane you can't tell me this isn't one of the craziest fights you've ever seen knock down another guy with my shotgun here I think I've even cleaned up some of limbs that I I didn't even knock out and it's gonna end right here with a nice headshot with the shotgun and that's how you get six kills in the span of about 30 seconds with I believe one or two eliminations on top that I didn't even get credit for because I didn't down the person so after that just absolutely chaotic fight I saw an ATK in the distance and decided hey why not try to follow it six enemies left I got 16 kills this could end up being an easy 20 bomb and lo and behold I'm about to stumble upon upon a 1v4 here. Not really sure what that first guy's doing or really any of these guys because they're just chilling in lazy links riding around an ATK for some reason, but I'll take the opportunity for a 1v4 here. And these guys actually aren't the worst players in the world, even though they don't seem to be building very much. They definitely know the power of explosives, I can tell you that much, and they're trying to do all in their power to prevent me from getting high ground, but luckily I make sure to stay on the aggressive even though they were using explosives a lot of people make that mistake they get discouraged when they get shot down or broken down from high ground when they're playing aggressive and as you're gonna see here this last guy probably not the most advised strategy in the world but I pickaxe him to clean up the 1v4 and I barely took any damage during that fight I made sure to stay aggressive made sure to stay on high ground and it ended up working pretty well overall as you can tell by my kill count at this point so the final two fights of this video are both 1v1s and the first First one starts right here with this guy trying to ramp rush up to this mountain I guess as we're getting to late game people are just trying to ride the edge of the storm and find any points of natural high ground and as I mentioned earlier I beat this guy to high ground so what does he do usually people will try one of two things either just running away or hiding and this guy clearly is in the camp of people that believes that once you get out built hiding is the best approach to take and as you can see mainly because of the storm pushing him out it doesn't work work very well I'm able to jump down from high ground take the fight on my terms a bit risky with the 50 50 fight there on the ground you usually don't want to take those if you don't have to but I could just tell that that guy wasn't the best player in the world so I was confident in my own skill and it ended up working out pretty well for me especially because I had minis in my inventory to heal me up after now this guy right here he makes what I would call a stupid aggressive play that ends up getting him trapped for the final kill 
You can't just do that. You can't just land directly on people who are looking at you and know where you're coming from. And that guy obviously learned that lesson the hard way. You do not want to do that when playing aggressive. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you watched the entire thing, be sure to leave me a comment down in the comment section below. What is your favorite game mode in Fortnite? Are you a solos guy, a duos guy, a squads guy, or do you prefer one of the LTMs? Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do whatever the heck you want, and I will catch you guys next time.